That's our calc angle, all right? So we got this statics problem here. So what we have is the shape, and we're gonna rotate it 30 degrees, and we wanna find the volume that that, uh, that extension is gonna be. So let's go ahead and get started, right? So when we're doing a problem like this, uh, I went ahead and flattened it onto a 2D plane, and then we're gonna use this equation. So the equation says volume is equal to theta, which is the angle of rotation, basically how much we're rotating it around uh, an axis, times radius, which is the distance away from the axis that it's being rotated about, uh, to the center of mass, and then area is the area of the shape. So what we need to do is we need to find basically uh, the area of this and the center of mass of this, and then we're gonna multiply it by theta to find the volume. So let's get started. So when we have a problem like this, uh, we have a complex shape, we wanna simplify it by breaking it into simpler shapes. So how are we gonna break it into simpler shapes? Well, we want things that are easy to know, so how about a rectangle with a triangle, right? So we can break it into this here. So now we have a rectangle, and a triangle. So we're going to label this one 1 and label this 2. So now it's easy to find the area of this and it's easy to find the area of this. So then now we're going to need to find the center of mass of these. So we're rotating it around the y-axis so we need to find the center of mass relative to y of each one of these. So yeah because we're spinning it around the y-axis so we need to find the center of mass. So for this rectangle of course it's going to be right in the center. And so we're looking for how far away from here it is. So this distance here, right, is pretty simple. It's gonna be 150 uh, millimeters, which means that the center, which means that the radius is gonna be the distance from Y, basically from here all the way to here. So it's gonna be this four meters plus this 150 millimeters. So that's for one. Um, so we figured that part out, so we can maybe start with this equation. So volume is gonna be equal to, so we said theta is equal to 30 degrees. But we're in degrees, we're gonna make sure we convert to radians. So radians, if you wanna to convert to radians, you're gonna multiply by pi over 180 because one pi radian is equal to 180 degrees and you're gonna get pi over six radians. So that's the theta we're gonna put in, so it's gonna be pi over six. Um, and then so this one, uh, so it's radius we said is four meters plus 150 millimeters. So it's gonna be four meters plus 150 millimeters, so it's 0 0.15 millimeters. We gotta make sure we're in the same units. And then the area of the shape is, of course, 300 millimeters on the bottom times 150 millimeters here. So this is converted to meters, 0 0.3 meters times uh, 0 0.15 meters. Right, so that's the volume of A. So there we go. Uh, so now for B, we have this two. So we wanna find basically now the center mass of this one. So when we have a triangle, we know that uh, its center of mass is gonna be a third of the way down from the top. So if this is 100 meters tall, then a third of the way down to the top is gonna to be like right there. So then same thing on this axis, third of the way down from the top is there. So this is actually the one we're looking for, right? We want this distance because this is relative to the y-axis. So we need to find this distance, basically. How much is this distance? Because we know it's four meters here. So this one, it is 150 millimeters. And then this distance is gonna be the 150 millimeters minus this 50, because we're a third of the way down. So this is 100 millimeters. So then simply, we're just gonna add this one to the next one. So then it's gonna be plus pi over six, because if we're finding the volume, we can add up the two volumes. So it'll be plus pi over six, so this radius is now four meters plus 150 millimeters, 0 0.15, plus this 100 meters, 0 0.1, right? So that's our total radius, and then we're multiplying it by the area of this triangle. So this triangle is 50, or 150, uh, so not 150, 0 0.15, right? We gotta make sure we're in meters. 0 0.15 tall times uh, 0 0.1 meters or so 0 0.15 wide, 0 0.15, 0, or 0 0.1 tall, and then we have to divide it by two because we have a triangle. So now you do the math on this, and you're gonna get that your volume is equal to 0 0.114 meters cubed. So there we go. So that's how you do this problem. So it's not too tricky, right? Just about uh, making sure you get the, the parts all put together correctly. And yeah, that's how you do it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below and check out my statics playlist and I'll see you in the next one, peace.